the sororities and fraternities were were leaders. Those individuals were the leaders throughout the school. And so you looked at who was a, a part of these organizations in terms of, of deciding which organization you wanted to become a, 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 a member of. But as I was volunteering at, at the Everett, at the NACP office, I noticed that most of the volunteers were also members of Delta Sorority. Um, and I said, like, oh, what is this Delta thing? And then one of the young ladies who was actually a volunteer was uh, from my hometown. And so that's how I became interested in, uh, that, that's when I started noticing Delta and what they were doing and uh, was very impressed with the work they were doing. So I get to Tennessee State, already loving red, admiring this young lady who was Miss TSU, already in love with Will and Rudolph and Wyoming Tigers, because I used to love to watch the track and field Olympics. And I remember Tiger Bells, Tennessee State, Will and Rudolph, Wyoming Tigers. So I started watching these ladies in red, discovered that Miss TSU was a Delta, got to meet her, and just from observation, who were, as you say, the campus leaders? Who were outspoken? Who were just dynamic, feverish? Um, the Deltas uh, at Shaw University had to have a higher average than the members of the other fraternities and sororities in order to uh, become a member or to, to try to become a member. The reason I selected Delta was because I had cousins who were Deltas, and of course they influenced me. But also at that time, it wouldn't have made a difference to me though, but also during that period, that's when there was this uncomfortable relationship that AKAs had and Deltas had with a female's skin color. And because I was of darker hue, than most of all of the AKAs at that time. I probably would not have been selected at all to join their chapter. So I'm glad to know that that has changed, but some of us lived through that. And, and just watching the Deltas and, and seeing them, I knew that the minute I could pledge, which was my sophomore year, um, I was gonna pledge Delta. When I was in school, you could actually pledge the, we were on Florida, so you could pledge the third quarter of your freshman year. So I actually pledged, uh, became a, a pyramid in April of 1966, which was the third quarter of my freshman year. But actually it went over in November because you had to pledge one semester in one quarter and go over uh, the next one. There were 37 on our line, and you know, you see the, the, the relationships that you build up. I can go anywhere in this country and someone I haven't seen in 20 or 30 years and it's like it was yesterday. 